Happy things. All right, so I'm here with Jack in a nice shopping mall, just having a quick conversation about the Celta. So hi, Jack. Um, just a couple of questions, because I already spoke to Tanika about a few things. Um, my first question, um, can you explain what it's like for those four weeks when you're doing the CELTA for someone, you haven't done any teaching before this, have you? No. Me and Tanika both had a bit of experience. Uh, how, how were those four weeks? Um, exhausting. <laughs> I didn't find the teaching part difficult. I found mm. the exhaustion part difficult because right. I'm pretty comfortable and confident talking to groups or being in front of people. Okay. Um, it was the exhaustion, right? Overwhelmed brain. And was that because of the amount of work that was given to us, or the amount of um, administrative hoops that we had to jump through? Uh, the amount of work. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't complex work. It right. was the amount of it. The okay. concepts aren't very difficult, but there's so much of it, ah, okay. and it's constantly coming at you. Okay, because me and Tanika, we were thinking how on earth someone who hasn't got experience would manage it, but you found you found it pretty pretty easy, but it's just the, the volume. Yeah, it was the volume. I've, I just kind of, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable talking to people yeah. and being in front of a group, so yeah. the teaching part of it actually didn't really bother me. I've done okay. volunteer kind of stuff before. Okay, yeah. But... Yeah, it was just, you know, on three or four hours sleep trying to teach. Oh, really? You're, three or four hours? Some wow. nights. A Good few nights, Lord. yeah, yeah. I'm getting up at 4 a.m. Yeah. Because you have to do your lesson plans. Yeah, yeah. The night before you're doing assignments. Yeah, no, I remember that feeling. <laughs> um, is, it, is it what you expected? I mean, I had a... People told me it was tough, and I'd be like, oh, ha, ha, you know, I've done teaching before. Mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared for it, really. Did, did you have some idea before you came to the course what it was going to be like? I didn't think it was going to be like that. Yeah. I, the, again, the intensity was all from lack of sleep. Mm. It was, uh, I thought, oh, it's going to be difficult material, but I didn't think the material was all that difficult. It was the amount of it. Yeah. So when they said intense, intense equals lack sleep deprivation. Yeah. So I mean, you said it was like boot camp at one point. I yeah, remember. I've been through military boot camp, <laughs> and I remember being that tired. Yeah. And uh, and that was at 19 years old. So now I'm a middle-aged man trying to do that. So it's definitely more difficult. So is this, um, in your now professional opinion, is this something you would recommend for people who are going to? looking to teach you know I mean because you can probably get into teaching with a degree as a native speaker w would you recommend people do the CELTA yeah I think I think it's a good course I learned a lot just be prepared for a month of hell <laughs> like yeah. literally like physically sick sometimes because yeah. of uh, being overwhelmed yeah so but there's also TEFL classes if people really want to teach and don't want to go through the CELTA hell yeah. I know there's a lot of good TEFL programs that probably aren't as intense. Yeah. And, you know, look into that too. Yeah. Because it's not the only way in, is it? Exactly. It's, it's, um, and we spoke to the, there's a guy who comes to speak to the group at the end. And we asked him, didn't we, how, why it was so intense. And yeah. his answer was... Marketing. Market pe pe demand. Yeah, people don't want to take more than four weeks to complete a course. Yeah. I think ideally the course should be four, five or six weeks. Five or six. Yeah. I think it was six weeks would be perfect because then you could get off at three in the afternoon or two in the afternoon. Have a day off every week. <laughs> Have a day off. You could reflect because there's no time to reflect no. on the material. No. As soon as you learn something, it's gone because there's something else coming yeah. at you. Exactly. And there's really no time for remembering or recalling because there's new stuff every day. Yeah. And people's brains work differently. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I remember speaking about that to some of the other students and... If, it's, if you're good at taking in information and going with it, it's okay, but some people, they need time. Like, right. you know, some of the other guys that we studied with, they, they said it was just they couldn't yeah. think because they didn't have the time to, to get there. I think it was easier for those in their 20s. Once you get past yeah. 30, it changes. Yeah. So early, early 20s, you can deal with the you sleep deprivation better. Yeah. Um, but as you get older, you don't it's deal tougher. with it. It's, it gets tougher. Yeah, that, that was actually, someone mentioned that as well. That's an interesting idea. Um, I think it's a physiological fact. 
I'm not a doctor. I but found it tough. I'm 36. Yeah. I found it yeah. tough. And then Adela and Tani, they were both in their 20s. They seemed to never be in trouble. Right. But maybe it's that, yeah, like you say, the yeah. sleep or... I'm 46, so like it yeah. really... Well, you need your sleep. David, who didn't make it, he was in his 60s, wasn't he? So. Yeah. Um, just so thanks for speaking to me, Jack. Just finally, um, talk about money. Um, do you feel like you got good value for money? I mean, it, we laid out sixteen hundred dollars for this course. Yeah, it was one hundred and twenty hours, and they worked us one hundred and twenty hours. Oh, we God, were there yeah. till five o'clock every day. Plus five five hours every day homework. <laughs> yeah, usually five. Figure at least five hours in homework a night. Yeah, I mean, it was a good value for the money. I think. Yeah. I think it's cheaper than pay, than it would be in the U.S. or oh, U.K. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's one of the cheapest ones in yeah. Bangkok. Yeah. yeah, and considering once you get in the market and start working, you're going to make that money back pretty quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, it, you, you get you get good value for the money. Just be prepared to be exhausted <laughs> to the point of sickness. Yeah. All right, brilliant. Listen, that's great. Thanks so much, Jack. Right. Awesome.